uh, with Garrett Koch. Garrett, go ahead. Took me uh, just a second to get settled there. Thanks, Matt. Um, ben, I remember uh, when you last played Mizzou in Columbia, after that game, you said that you were really impressed with their group they had coming back and that they were going to be an NCAA tournament team. Um, obviously, they've started out tremendously only losing a game to Tennessee. What was it about that group specifically that really impressed you and thought they'd be where they're at now? Well, you could just see they really played well the last half of the conference season a year ago. They had some very big wins. I remember they crushed – a good Auburn team by 20 in Columbia. And they had a number of really good wins uh, during the last half of the, the conference season a year ago, and you could just see that team growing. Especially Pinson had moved into the starting lineup. I forget what happened, what caused that, but when he got to be uh, in the starting uh, rotation with Drew Smith in the backcourt, uh, you know, those two guards are, are uh, you know, really a great pair of guards. With one's a Fifth-year senior, one's a, a junior, and uh, really, really good players. But I like their number one, their perimeter. You look at Mark Smith, and you look at uh, you know uh, number four. Uh, his name escapes me right now. Really good player comes off the bench. Uh, uh, Pinson. Yeah. Who? Is it Xavier Pinson. No, no, no. That's a starter. He's oh, number right. one. Number four. Uh, he's a good player. Um, but in any event, I really like their perimeter, their depth. Watson is their fifth perimeter guy, and he can really shoot it. Bugs they picked up this year, and he's a good point guard that came from Hawaii, gives them another ball handler and uh, a guy that makes good decisions. So they have a lot of depth in the backcourt. And then Tillman, you know, had his best game of his career probably in their last outing yesterday or Saturday against uh, uh, Arkansas. Where he had 25 points, really played great, and uh, he's been playing very well for us. For them, uh, I, th I think uh, Brown, uh, Kobe is uh, doing a really nice job, and then they bring in Smith for him. So they've got a lot of depth uh, and experience. They're older. I mean, it's always an advantage to be older. When you look at their team, uh, you know, they're an older group uh, of guys, and, uh, you know, that helps. Javon Pickett was his name. I mixed up Pickett, uh, Pickett and Pinson. That, that was it, number four. There you go. Pickett's good. Pickett's strong. They're playing him some at the four this year. We'll go ahead and swing it along to Paul Jones. Paul, go ahead. Coach, kind of along those lines, you don't see it much in, in today's game with a, with a program t returning back most of their roster. What other things have stood out to you about Missouri this year besides just being a year older? And, oh, uh, and year yeah, good question. I think they play very good defense. I think they're one of the better defensive teams in our league. They really, really uh, do a good job. They're man-to-man. -man. Uh, they'll, they'll ice ball screens. Uh, they'll switch some ball screens, one through four. Uh, they really get out and deny things. They re when you penetrate, everybody is collapsing. Uh, forcing you to kick it back out. Uh, they do a great job defensively. Uh, I think they're really executing well offensively. They push the ball hard in transition. Even on uh, our made shots, uh, you're going to see them push it and try to attempt to push it really hard, as did Kentucky, as did Georgia. So uh, we've got to do a good job in our transition defense with these guys as well. And, you know, they're 10 in the net. You know, right now they're one of the top 10 teams in the country based on the uh, NC2A net rankings. Well, if you had a follow-up, go right ahead. Yeah, Coach, I was also uh, wanted to ask you about Tolu Smith. Obviously, he's had a, a slow start to SEC play, and a lot of it I know has been about matchups. But what do you think, it, when you watch the film on him in those last two games, what, what do you think needs to get him going and, and what he needs to improve on? You know, he just needs to slow down in the post. Uh, you know, Tolu uh, – is is playing at a, sometimes a pace that's just going too fast. He's just got to slow down and get settled, and that comes with experience. Uh, you know, players are bigger and stronger, but like he, you know, we, we watched the film yesterday, and uh, he watched the entire game and edits with the team, so he got a lot of film work. He came in and did extra work today, this morning for an hour. I mean, he's got a great attitude, a great work ethic, and, uh, you know, he's going to keep improving and getting better. He is leading the league in rebounding as of today all games. So, you know, he, he's done some very good things for us. And, uh, you know, offensively, he's got to focus on his, his post game. Uh, you know, every kid wants to shoot, wants to work on shooting and facing up and shooting threes. And that's been the focus of his his time that he spends uh, outside of practice. 
And, you know, he's got to be focused on number one, have, being able to use that 6'11", uh, 245 pounds, and, and score on people with his back to the basket some. And so that's something we worked on today. We'll keep it rolling with Paul. Coach, uh, another question. Uh, obviously, after the game the other night, saw Iverson Molinar out there putting up shots, and, and he talked to his post game, as you know, and said he wanted to learn from that late game situation and making that mistake against Kentucky. Uh, what have you seen from him, if y'all have practiced since then, and, and just the team's demeanor coming off that tough loss? You know, we didn't do anything live yesterday. We walked through Missouri stuff, and then we watched – film after lifting uh we had a, a, a lifting day yesterday uh but you know obviously our guys were were really hurting after that game and uh you know there was somberness but i explained to them hey you know that game's over now and the whole key to it is from every experience is to learn from it and not you know let that carry over in the next game i mean that game's over and we're one and one and we've got a, another incredible opportunity uh tomorrow against a very good missouri team that's you know, really, really tough. That just had a great road win at Arkansas. That's ten in the net. So it's a great opportunity for us to to grow and and learn uh, from what we did. And and he will. I mean, we have great kids, so they're going to respond. And that's you know, uh, I'm very confident in that.